live from beautiful Stake of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina, where they love to say, keep pounding, ever since the Tommy DeFist incident back in 13. We all remember where we were that day. I still remember the beautiful screams. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Los Angeles Volts go up against the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> oh, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Hi, what? crashing into a slaughterhouse! And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. That run is good for 10 yards. And they'll line up for the punt here. A misfired punt will give the opposing team... He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and six. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking first down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And the defense was ready for that bombs away dirty trick that time. Second down and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Third and two.
ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk ball. Defense holds him to a four yard pick up there. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Hot. Hot. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Touch an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down and more than the QB would like. One, hot two. Eight. They'll be washing bloody footprints off the defensive jerseys after a run like that. Third down and six. Hot, hot one. Two. Hot. 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 Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Bray Cram when the ball didn't fall down. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. And the defense goes for the jugular. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. Catch for a one yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Second down and nine. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. 
I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot two. He is rolling and the rubber is going crazy fast and that hit jars the ball loose and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. He could go all the way. The 20. The 10. He scores! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot five. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot five. is warming up. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five yards on that play second down and five oh and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without noah kane if i had all my teeth knocked out like that i'd have them made at the dice grin it'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth <laughs> I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Second down and five. Oh, what 
with the brutal hit. First down and nine. the line and he gets his bell run for a yard. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. And that'll be second and eight to go. Perfect pass and a score! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Eight. They run it for a yard. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Second down and nine. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. All week, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Still play jerks. Yo, guys, suck. QB is saying his prayers. One, hot two, hot three. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, but it keeps coming back to him. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a thought being snagged. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Ooh, and that's what they call the money shot. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he was stuck to him like glue. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Brent's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit shit. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon.
Come on, give me that. <laughs> He's got the distance, and the kick is good! When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Hey, man, I was hitting on the now. You know what happened? The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. It's the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. Third down and three. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. First down and five. And the defense jumps on sides, trying to mutilate the QB. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. He looks to stay with... The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First down and five. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. They're back up here on first down. The defense is on its heels. Great run on that play. Second down and five. Oh, man, what a throw. He catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost Don't try to get 
fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down in a very lot. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the pop. And they run it for a couple of yards. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. And he punched his way out of that tackle. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. The defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Third down and, well, good luck. Crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Once they're gone, it's game over. Yeah, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. 
And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. One, hot two, hot, hot. Third down and the punter is warming up. One, hot two. target more often. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. You've got to catch that. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move his ass out of bounds before he... Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji! The new game from Wilton Crabtree! He's at the 10! Touchdown! Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. And no one's going to his ship after the game. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and five. Man, what a hit that was. Third down and nine. was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Hot. Hot one. should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Third down and three. Hot one, eight. Oh, with the brain scrambler. I don't understand. Why are they going for it, Grim? This seems like the situation where they should First and ten. Hey. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Well, 
they're all in power. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Hot, hot one, hot two. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Hot one, hot. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Second down and ten. Cut to avoid the saw, but the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. Third down and three. Oh man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, you just ran into a buzzsaw. First and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. <laughs> you want dirt and some fun on your time. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Third down and long. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done!
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. The receiver runs away from the pass marker. That? It looks like we've got a penalty here. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! And he's off to the races. He's at the 30. He's in, and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And that'll be their final timeout. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. First and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. It might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal. This is way too long. The Carolina Panzers suffer a big loss today. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, Let's really? go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the...